Hello fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your daily tarot reading. We are going to be looking at the daily message for you for all fire signs. So if you do have a lot of fire in your chart, this is going to be helpful. And also if you're dealing with a fire sign as well, um, this is going to be insightful as to what may be coming up for them and to sort of give you their perspective of things as well. So before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. Um, my YouTube family is growing, so I'd love to have you be a part of that. Also, if you are after a private reading, please email me. I am currently accepting those. Um, otherwise, let's get into this uh, fire signs and see what the daily message is next 48 hours for you what you need to know what's sort of coming up okay a few cards have fallen out i wanted seven so let's see okay. you get some bonus ones um fire signs okay there's commitment there's a solid commitment that's coming up around you and it's coming up as the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Um, and I feel like there is some some shocking revelations that might make you feel a few different things. So I almost feel like it's going to be a day where I feel like commitment is coming up really strongly or it's like moving into that. And I feel like it's a day where you're going to be experiencing a lot of different things. I feel like there's a lot of surprises in store for you with the Seven of Cups. And I feel like there's a lot of new information that's coming to you. Uh, but I also feel like there's someone here who you're dealing with or that you're connected to who's going to be actually surprising you. Um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to come as the tower moment. So I feel like it'll be unexpected. It'll be something unplanned. Um, but what I'm getting here, Fire Signs, if you're coming up as the four of wands and the tower card it's almost like you are jeopardizing something or you are doing some course of action you're taking some course of action basically you're doing things to sabotage a connection and my question is why okay let's look at this i feel like i feel like there's finally peace in a connection I feel like there's finally some things that have sort of worked between you and this person and it's almost like you're starting to act up because you need a bit of anxiety in this connection. Like when, when I see this, I think of that Sex in the City episode, I don't know if anyone's watched this, where like Carrie first starts her relationship with Aiden and it's just so anxiety free and then she was like, this relationship is too smooth like it's too good everything's going fine there's no problems there's no issues and she was like getting bored she was getting agitated so i feel like fire signs this is what some of you are going through it's like things are at a really good stage or things are going really really well but then it's like okay well this is kind of boring so i get that some of you are trying to like act up to see if your person is still caring about you or they still care or you're like okay i'm gonna try and make them jealous like you guys are doing something here today that i feel is like to to get someone to react and i feel like that's why it's a bit of a mixed bag here because i do think you're gonna throw someone a few surprises and to be honest i feel like i feel it's more you than them um, you're sort of going to disrupt the peace with that Eight of Cups. I don't know if it's going to be something you say, something you do, something you're going to test this person with. Um, but yeah, as you do that, it's going to it's going to create some drama. But I feel like you want this drama. I feel like for you, it validates something like it, uh, you you get to see if they really care you get to test if they're jealous you get to see if they're this and it's about the commitment that you have with them and it could be for those of you that are married or it's something around commitment or marriage like moving in together um getting married it's like you know you could be i see some of you maybe like sending this person like a really huge sign like no subtlety at all of what you want from them of the commitment that you want from them and it could disrupt the peace um, and I feel like even 
as I was meditating on your reading before, I just felt this kind of like frazzled energy for you that a lot was happening and a lot of different areas and then the cards sort of spilt out. So I feel like um, there's a reason why that happened and I think it's something to do with this energy. I feel like I feel like you've been holding back. You've been trying to act a certain way um, or you've been biting your tongue about a situation and I feel like today's the day that it's all just going to come out because um, I feel like you've been waiting for this. Okay, smooth seas. Are you going from smooth seas into rocky seas? Maybe, but I feel like you're inviting this in. You want this kind of energy. It's attractive to you, okay? The, t the tower is attraction. I think maybe even for some of you, you know when, like, people say, um, like, they have a fight with their person and then it gets them excited or they get aroused or, you know, it's, it's, it's something. I don't know what it is. It makes us go crazy at times because it's like, well, this person is fighting for me or this person is getting angry. I don't know. I don't know why. In some way, it's it's appealing. Um, and I, that's the kind of energy I'm picking up. So if you're someone who likes that, then I feel like you're going to get a bit of a kick out of it. And I feel like today's the day. I don't know what it is. Are you, you know, are you just bored in the relationship? Are you approaching your period? Are you just, you know, acting out? Are you just wanting, you know, it's something's feeling this, like, you know, and also sometimes you just want action. You just want excitement, right? And as long as you're not doing anything too crazy uh, or like blowing things out of proportion completely, um, I think it's a test. And I feel like you're going to create some drama. You're going to ruffle some feathers, fire signs, and then you're just sort of going to sit back and watch and be like, okay, now what are they going to do? What are they going to do to keep me? Like, it's a bit of attitude that's coming through here today. So I don't know. I don't know if you're in a mood. Um, I don't know if you want to show them. If they don't pick up their socks, if they don't change their act, you're going to walk away. They've got something to lose. I don't know if you need to dangle the bait in front of them. He fire signs. But I feel like that's what you're happening. And I kind of, like, I find this amusing. Like, even as I'm doing this reading, I feel like I wish I was a fly on the wall so I could see what exactly you're getting up to i swear you guys always entertain me every time i do these readings um so i feel like yeah i definitely feel some stuff's gonna go down today <laughs> so you'll have to report back and let me know how that goes here by signs but remember you know be reasonable um with whatever it is that you're doing here uh today but i'm gonna leave it there um everyone so thank you again for tuning in i hope you have a great day ahead and um lots of love and angel blessings bye for now